Hello, welcome to the Soul Commander channel. Today, you guys, I don't really have a review. I have more of a repair type video or more of an informational type video. What you're looking at right now on your screen is the cheap little device that you're going to need if you happen to have a Samsung refrigerator and you're noticing water down in your pantry compartment on the very bottom or maybe even on the bottom shelf inside your refrigerator. If you're noticing water or ice buildup, you probably have a clogged drain hole and it's probably clogged because it's iced up. So we're having an icing problem with our 11-year-old uh, Samsung refrigerator. And I've already taken out the shelves. And I was going to show you the model number here of this particular refrigerator. See the model number right there? RFG. The camera would focus. That's the model number, and what's happening is the drain's plugged. I thought it was at first this uh, water uh, dispenser um, where the refill, or not the refill, but where the uh, filter is, but it's not. It's dripping here. You can feel the water coming down. I thought this was maybe leaking, though. And it's bulging over here because there's ice buildup. There, this is where it defrosts back here, and this sometimes the drain gets clogged down here. So we have to take out, you have to pry this out with a screwdriver because there's a screw behind here, and then you're going to want to take these screws out down here, and then of course the one here, and then you're going to have to get up like a plastic putty knife go behind here but I would wait till this defrosts first or you could damage the plastic and this thing's like 190 bucks to replace this because it's got a built-in fan as well so um, and you want to make sure that this fan is working too and there's a way to do that on your refrigerator if you have a magnet there is on top of the refrigerator up here there's a thing that says switch you have the doors closed, you put a magnet right on the top of there, and then there's another one over here on this side. If you push the plunger in, it won't work, but if you put a magnet right up here, and then you open the doors, the refrigerator will think that the doors are still closed. Then you can test to see if this fan is running. Um, you can listen um, to see if it's running. I never knew about that magnet thing. Uh, Samsung doesn't even know about it, or at least they don't tell you about it, so kind of a little secret there, I guess. Anyway, um, we're going to get this pulled apart. thought I'd let you guys in on what was going on if you ever have this problem. Because what ends up happening is your tray that's down in here that I've already removed, it gets water in it. And then you also get water built up or ice, as you can see, ice down here. So that's what will happen when you start noticing you've got a problem. You'll have whole bunch of water down there and it'll turn to ice so unplug the refrigerator gonna let it set overnight defrost on its own and then take this panel out and we'll see if that hole down there is plugged up we'll use some hair dryer or maybe some hot water pull the refrigerator out take the panel off the back down by the compressor and see if you notice those plates down there those pans are dry then you know that it's plugged up and in our case they're dry um, so then you know that's plugged up. There is a little metal device you can buy that improves with the heater because this defrosts and this little metal device you can buy on Amazon, it's a little bit longer than the normal one that's on there. You have to cut off the old one. I can show you that here later when I get it pulled apart. Okay, so first we're going to pry this out. You get a little screwdriver. Smaller the better. That comes right out like that. There's your screw sitting in there. I do that first. I 
I can even hear the ice, I think, in there when I unscrew this. I hear things cracking a little bit. And this center plate will come out once you take these screws out. This center rail will come out. Almost got the screw here. And I can't get a hold of it, so there we go. Yeah, it's kind of a long screw. Boy, a little rusty there, too, I'd say. Yeah. And I thought I'd get out my little hand drill here on this one since I can get to it. Or my battery operated. Save a little bit of time. So now that we got those screws out, we should be able to take this center rail out that holds your shelves in place. And there's no need to take that piece out, as you can see. So, boy, that's wet. This thing is really, really wet. And we got a couple more screws left. That's a short one there. All right, we got one more screw left. And here we go. Ooh, that was an easy one. Okay, what you're gonna need is a plastic spatula. And I've got a flashlight here so you guys can see this because they're so small. You see that little tiny arrow? right there it's a little arrow right there that's where you're going to put the spatula and if you go down further there should be another one down here um let's see yes there's the other one right there and the other one is right there so you're going to put a spatula behind those areas and pry it up the same thing on this side you've got the same thing going on I know it's a little hard to see because of the lighting. I'm doing this in the evening hours and I should have had a trouble light in here. But there's a little arrow right there. And then another one right there. And that's where you got to pry underneath behind the plate. Be very careful though because there's styrofoam back there. And you don't want to damage the seal or any of that foam. So you need to be really careful when you do this. And wait until it defrosts a little bit. Don't try to do it when you've got ice built up behind there, give it a little bit of time so that you don't damage anything. Okay, it's been about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I've been using a hair dryer because the styrofoam is staying, I don't think you can see it, maybe you can, styrofoam is staying stuck back there. So I've been using a hair dryer blowing hot air through here and here and these holes here because the styrofoam should be coming out with this plastic. This whole plastic, when you take the screws out, you should be able to just pull it straight down and it should come out from the top. It's not. And the styrofoam is staying stuck back here. But I just had a breakthrough. I just got a piece of styrofoam or got a hold of it here and pulled on it and it's starting to come out. I heard a piece of, of ice fall. So I think we're making some headway. So if you have the same problem, don't try to force this plastic out. You might break it. So just use a hair dryer on it if you want to speed things up. Blow, you know, blow it through there. Don't keep it on there the whole time, but move it around. Keep it on there a little bit going up and down. Then in some of these holes here, back and forth, around. You can even put it on the side here. You can feel the cold coming still out of there. There's ice build up in there. I'm starting to get it out here, even on the bottom. You can see how the styrofoam it goes way down here, and, and it was stuck in there really, really tight because of the ice. So I just wanted to show you guys that. You just got to keep working at it. Okay, after applying some more heat with the hair dryer, 
and getting your hands behind the styrofoam and then pulling down, all of a sudden it came loose and <laughs> so did a bunch of ice that's back there. So be patient with it. Uh, if you can't get it out, let it set for four or five hours or overnight even if you can. Um, luckily it's winter time here and all of our food is outside in our car. <laughs> Staying cold in 32 below weather. So it's uh, below freezing outside. So anyway, that's what you have to do. And I can't really hold the camera and do this at the same time. But what you're going to do is you're going to move this out like this. Because if you look behind here, there's wires that you have to unplug way back in the left-hand corner over here. So you're going to have to maybe have a friend or somebody hold this for you if you can't do it yourself. And then uh, get back there and unplug those wires that goes to your fan up here. Also, I want to tell you guys something. <laughs> do not, do not, this is, a, we were cleaning this. Uh, if you ever want to take that out and clean it, you have to be a little careful. But uh, you can put a screwdriver. This sits down in here like this with, of course, the silicone around it. And if you put a screwdriver right down in here after, well, it's sitting down in there. There's some, there's a tab and then a tab right, right there. You put a screwdriver, a little screwdriver. Um, this isn't the one I use, but you put it in here and you push that direction. And it goes hard. You don't want to bend it and do one of these things. Don't do this up and down because you could crack this, but you got to push really hard. And it might take you a little bit of time to do that. And once you push it, it'll all of a sudden release. And then what you do is you push it back this way and it will come out. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick since it was sitting down there. We were cleaning that. But what I wanted to tell you guys about back to uh, this thing. Do not lean. Do not put even a slight a bit of, of pressure on here because these things... Oh, there's some more ice <laughs> that fell out. These things will will crack really easy. You can see here, I didn't do it this time, but these things crack. And I had to take the railing out here because this was all busted up. These things sell like for 30 bucks. Uh, you can, I'll leave a link if you need to get one. Appliance Part Pros has them. It's basically this rail and ours was just busted right in half. Just super brittle. Um, really not... <laughs> not a good not a good piece at all uh, take a look here it, here it is just all busted up it's just all really brittle so yeah it, it was three pieces there's two screws here one screw there and then when you take it off you pull it backwards there is a little it's right here there's a little piece that goes in right into there and then you push that forward when you're putting it in when you're taking it out you got the screws out you pull this back and i think they use a little glue in there or something too because there was a little bit of some kind some kind of glue or substance uh i don't know why but they had to do that but that was in there anyway i'm going all over the place our samsung refrigerator is falling apart you know they tell you they're going to last seven years but if you pull them out two times a, uh, a year and take the back plate off the back, which I'll be showing you here later, and vacuum out that condenser back there by the compressor. Uh, you can make these things last a lot longer. You know, the older refriger refrigerators back in the 80s and and so 90s, uh, they would last 25, 30 years. Um, nowadays, these things, they just don't last. And the parts, the plastic breaks, it's brittle and after a while it just uh you know cheaply made but very expensive to buy so you want to take care to try to make your appliance last as long as you can so keep it cleaned out especially if you have pets vacuum out that condenser in the back and and uh of course unplug it before you do all that and even wipe the the fan down back there that cools down the compressor wipe that down as best you can as well keep it nice and clean Okay, guys, and so here's what the back of it looks like. You can see all the moisture. 
there's your plugs that you have to unplug. Luckily for mine, they gave me enough wire to, I got it on a towel down here, leaning on a towel, and they gave me enough wire so I can I can get to the, uh, the plugs, but you got two plugs you need to unplug and get that out of there. And then, here's the problem, guys. I will show you. Now, mine doesn't have a lot of ice buildup, but maybe some of it defrosted, but there's a lot of guys that have ice buildup around here, and then they've moved their thermal sensor um, from here over to here. Um, they said that that allows you to have a longer defrost cycle. So I don't know if that's what you guys will have to end up doing. What I'm going to do is just try to get this unfrozen. You can see down here, that's this is the heater right here. And this little metal clip here is not long enough. It goes down in the tube. And then what happens is, is it freezes. And you can see this is all ice down here. And the, the hole where it's supposed to drain is all frozen up. That little clip down there goes down in the hole, and and they say it's not long enough. You can buy them on Amazon, although I've never seen with my model fridge um, that that is the problem. Uh, at least I couldn't find it online or anywhere like that. You know, searching the web, at least for this model here, um, refrigerator, the RFG uh, 298HDRS, uh, and this is... Uh, the Rev Zero, um, so yeah, it's RFG two nine eight HDRS, and then there's a backslash um, XAA, and then mine's Rev Zero. You can see the Rev, um, but it's it's not really that clear where to find it. But if you look right down there um, on the bottom right hand corner it says rev zero zero um, so if you need to know the rev number um, the following your model number that's where that is but anyway now I'm gonna get a hair dryer blow on that for a while um, just maybe unplug the hole have the refrigerator pulled out see if I can get water to drain down to the trays in the back if I can then I know the holes unplugged Put everything back together. Try the fridge out for a while. If this happens again, go on Amazon, get the three, four dollar part. Then you'll have to end up cutting this off and putting the new one on because that's a heating element. It gets really hot and uh, supposedly supposed to keep that open. All right, this is going to get kind of noisy, guys. We got the good old hair dryer. My wife loves this hair dryer. And we're going to use it to its full extent. Full blast. Super hot. see guys look at this where the ice is underneath there and bent that all the way up can you guys see that bad 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 anyway that's what you got to do start defrosting it okay so I've been pouring hot water down in here and it hasn't been working and this this is a straw by the way this metal piece is so short. It's so short it doesn't hardly even go down in the hole. Now, I don't know how come our Samsung refrigerator worked for 10 years without having this problem, but now it's having the problem. So I don't know why it's all of a sudden having the problem now, but this piece is definitely too short, this metal piece that heats up. And this straw is only going down this far, but you guys, I've been taking this hair dryer. I know this sounds stupid, and I've been blowing it on the end of the straw. You can even see where the straw is starting to melt. But every time I blow it on the end of the straw, I can push the straw down into the hole a little bit further. So I know there's ice buildup in the hole. That's why it's not draining. So as an example, let's do it right now. Um, I'll finish this up here, and, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It's going to be a little loud. Sorry about that. Oh, 
Now this is super hot, you guys. If you touch a straw, you can't even touch it. This higher hair dryer is, it gets super hot. It's got three settings on it and it does get super hot. Now we're gonna see if we can push the straw down a little bit further again. Oh my gosh. We, I think we got it. We got the clog. It's, it's, we got it. I'm sure now I'm going to get some water and we'll pour it in there and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Let's, this is really hot water. Let's pray that this works. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> it's draining. I could hear it draining. Yeah, there's no water in there. It's it's open. Yay! Problem solved. Now we just have to get the new clip. We'll have to cut this off with the tin snips and get the new clip. And that's going to take a day or two. So I'm going to probably have to put the fridge back together so at least we can keep our food cold and uh, go from there. But yay, it's open. So <laughs> the straw method. Uh, I don't think you've ever seen that probably online anywhere, but hey, it, it it quickened up the defrost cycle for me. I didn't have to wait all night, and uh, I uh, thought it out quicker that way. I was holding a hair dryer down on there, but it wasn't doing anything, and then this kept feeling very, very cold, like ice cold. I'd pour hot water in there, and it would just turn really cold very quickly. So, wow, that's really hot to the element because I've been heating it up with the hair dryer blowing over the straw but that's hot too but but yeah this piece is just so tiny it doesn't even it it does it just sits barely into the hole it needs to be longer anyway we'll be back okay uh, this is the new piece and what you do is you put the piece down in here first down in the hole and then lift it up behind behind this the whole piece, you slide it up behind this and then pull it over and down on top of the uh, heating element. And then you're going to have to take a, a pointed nose pliers, bend these up and this one up, and then also push this down so that it adheres really tight on there so it doesn't move around. And that's your fix.